Hi everybody, it's Gary again. Uh, last year we bought a enclosed trailer and we made a video just to kind of show people what we were going to do. Um, hopefully you've seen that. If you haven't, what we wanted to do was create a, a trailer that was sort of a toy hauler. So it, it, nothing that's super fancy inside, but something we put motorcycles and uh, a golf cart in. And But once we get to a place, we wanted something we could camp in. So that's what we're after and I think quite a few people are doing this but but first and foremost ours is a toy hauler so we weren't going for ultra fancy we were going for um, something above Beverly Hillbillies but not quite uh, luxury either so one thing we've done since we made the first video is add a window and I had some requests to walk you through that and see how you add the window I found online tons of videos that show you the part that scares us all cutting the hole in your nice trailers. They're all very good and I used those videos to cut this. This was my first window to put in. Um, basically uh, use masking tape to tape it off. Take your time, make sure everything's level and straight and there's tons of videos to show you how to do that so I didn't feel like I needed to make another one. But they were all missing something. They showed you how to cut the hole but they didn't show you the rest of it. They, they Took an hour to show you how to cut the hole and then two minutes to show you how to do the rest of it i couldn't find any videos to help me finish it so i wanted to make one that's kind of the end after the window is already in so let's go inside and check this out First, when you buy your window, make sure that if this is a new window, going in a place where there was not a window before, you buy the window and you have to buy an inside trim piece. They don't necessarily come together. A lot of the windows are sold as replacements for maybe one that's broken or something. Make sure you get this inside trim piece. But this inside trim piece, at least on this window, didn't come with any instructions and no screws. It didn't tell you anything. So now I have a nice hole cut in the side of the uh, camper that was the correct size and everything and I could hold my window up but nothing told me how to do it so the way these work is it's basically a sandwich so you've got your hole in the side of the camper you hold your window up there and the trim is larger than your hole so it mashes against the the siding and then this trim piece screws from the inside and it's larger than the hole you cut so you're just making a sandwich with your wall this trim piece came with no screws no instructions, nothing to say what size screws to use. I just ended up going to the hardware store and getting some three quarter inch stainless steel screws that were bit tip. So if you can see that tip right there, it's kind of a self drilling screw. It's just a Phillips head, but you can get a square head or whatever you want. Now, is this the right one to use? I'm not real sure. It's worked fine. Uh, I was really worried about damaging the mechanism and things, but, but this three quarter inch screw seemed to work really well for me. So they just go, there's holes already in your interior trim piece. But you're actually screwing into the other side of the window. And that's the only thing that's holding that window in is the sandwich effect of your wall going in between the window. I bought one that has sort of a, a sealant around it so you didn't have to caulk or anything. It has a rubber seal so as, as that squeezes together, it hopefully becomes waterproof. So again, I'm no expert on this. That's why I didn't make a video. This was my first one. Uh, came out fine. So far, so good. But I wanted to show and share with you the part that I thought was really lacking, which was this interior trim piece and, and how the whole window goes together. So I'm gonna make a couple more videos. I've had some requests. I've had a lot more views on my first video than I ever anticipated. Um, we've had some requests for electrical videos. How did I wire it? And then if you can look straight up, we added air conditioning. So I'll help you with that. But basically, if you've got a roof vent, which pretty much all of this type of trailer does, you take out the roof vent you've got the perfect size hole already for an air conditioner those air conditioners are made to fit that i think it's a 14 inch by 14 inch hole um, and it's not terribly hard so thanks for watching this one watch out for more coming soon thank you